Hello friends, let's talk about how to pick the best model for your project. Last time we wrote some prompts together, but we didn't really dive into this part. The model choice is actually core to good image generations. And if we click into it, we'll see hundreds of different models. Don't get overwhelmed, there are actually easy ways to navigate through them. The first thing you'll want to check is the category. We have all these different categories. We can look at the art models, the cartoon models, anime models, or photorealistic models. When we look at anime, for example, these models are all built for different types of anime styles. So if what you want is something more specific like the Legend of Korra style, you'll get ideal results much more easily than if you try to do it with a standard model. For example, if you wanted the 3D cartoon style, we can just say a girl riding a bike and we're just getting all these really nice 3D cartoon pictures. Whereas if you try to do a standard model and you describe like 3D cartoon style, it's not going to be the same. So leveraging different model options can really help with your creations. We also have SDXL and SD 1.5. They both stand for Stable Diffusion Based Models. If you're not sure what that means, don't worry. XL models are a little bit newer than 1.5 models, so they are usually higher quality. But 1.5 models can also be really good depending on the style that you want. And there's also an NSFW category, which stands for Not Safe for Work. Now for more visuals, we can go into models from the home page and you'll see my models, which are models you trained. We won't look at that today, we'll only look at the public models and we have open our selections or community models. So open our selections are public models that we selected for you. We curated some of the best models out there like Flex, Colors, DALI 3, Stable Diffusion 3, and many other models for different styles. Community models are really interesting. They are actually trained by other open artists here and then posted by them on the platforms so you can use their trained models. To get a better sense of the models, you can click on gallery and you'll see so many pictures that are generated by other people on OpenR using this model. This is really helpful in figuring out what the model is capable of. For OpenR selections, you'll see a lot of clickable links. It usually shows you the source of the model. A lot of them are from Civitai and you'll also get to see other generations from this model. When you find something interesting, the best way is always to test it out. I found this beautiful 80s anime aesthetic model. So I'm just gonna go create with this model. And I think that's the default prompt. We can try to do the default prompt. And then I'll just write out some prompt to quickly test it out. Let's try beach sunset. Wow, I love this. I should quite like this one. I'm gonna publish it. And now because I published it, if we come back here, I'll see my creations showing up on this model page. And I can also take inspiration from how other people wrote their prompts for this model. That's pretty cool. Finally, you can watch my model review videos. I do a lot of live examples and we look at the model's pros and cons. I even compare them with other models like Midjourney, Ideogram, Dali. And I also share tips for each model because a lot of the times they're based on different technologies and we have to work with them kind of differently. We did a lot of reviews for Flux Dev and Chanel, models for D&D, and the newest one is on colors. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and take care, friends.